When I was at university, between 1957 and 1960, British history consisted of the whole of British history. One started from the very beginnings, from before the Romans, and one went on to the then modern times. Nowadays, British history is taught only in themes and segments. This atlas is an attempt to show the whole range of British history, to lead you through in maps with text and explanations from the very beginnings to today. And each new edition brings the British history atlas, like all the atlases, up to date. British history starts, of course, with England, Wales and Scotland as separate entities. And the atlas shows how they come together, how the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland was created. It shows the economic history, it shows the social history. It shows the era of castle building, the Wars of the Roses, brings forward to the revolution, the glorious revolution of 1688, which itself follows regicide and the execution of a king and the establishment of the short-lived Cromwellian Republic. And then into modern times, the Industrial Revolution, the whole story of Victorian England when Britain became the, the great empire on which the sun never set. And then modern Britain, first cursed by the First World War in which almost a million Britons and Commonwealth citizens were killed on the battlefield, and then the Second World War which strained to the utmost Britain's resources and where victory came at such a high cost. And then the post-war world, where Britain has become an integral part of the European Union, as well as retaining its links with the Commonwealth and with the United States of America. Social history, political history, diplomatic history, these are all an integral part of my British History Atlas.